At Barrel, we have a very simple business philosophy, and we call it the circle of growth. What that means by creating an environment where people enjoy coming to work and they're appreciated, people inherently want to do a good job, and if they're doing a good job, they'll take care of our customers. By taking care of our customers, we'll retain those customers, they'll drive profits into the business, and those profits are reinvested back into the employees, and so that's what the circle of growth is. It is the true spirit of the fun around here. You know, Halloween is crazy with our carnival. Um, our family day is a time where everybody comes together for uh, just fellowship and camaraderie with families and one another. I'll tell you a funny story, that back in 2002, we hired our first CFO. And he came in and saw this unique culture that we had. He saw the money we were spending on dress-up days and decorations and events and parties. And he said, Paul, I know the first thing that we can do to drive greater margins in our business. We can stop doing some of those culture things. And I said, Pat, I don't know if I could quantify this connection for you, but I've got to believe that there's a connection between the environment we create for our people and how that's made us a premium provider, more profitable than others, and made the Inc. 5000 fastest growing privately held companies five years in a row. It was five years later that he had completely changed his tune and became a disciple of this way of doing business. And he's the one that coined that term, the circle of growth. I think a lot of people confuse uh, having a great place to work and a fun culture uh, as being uh, uh, competitive or uh, complete opposite of running a business. I, I want to make it clear and leave no mistake. We are a business. We are here to make money and we're here to make uh, a nice profit. Not, I mean, our profit margins exceed those in the industry uh, by, by three to four fold. I've seen year over year over year, our tenure get higher and our turnover get lower um, as we sustain this culture that we're in. And it amazes me the loyalty that is integrated into somebody by the simplest of kindness. Um, and we had a gentleman who, it's been about eight years now, he started as an advocate, was going through a really rough time anyway, and found out his mom wasn't going to make it about another three or four weeks. Well, she lived in Arizona and he couldn't afford to get there. And we bought him a plane ticket to go be with his mom until she died, and we paid him that month so he could be there and he's still here today he's now our facilities senior facilities manager he's been many different roles in the organization but he is probably the most loyal and dedicated guy that we have so while we talk about service of course we're a customer focused company but companies have choices to make what comes first what's the leading indicator of financial success is it financials that drive what we do in our business is it customer service? Is it people? I believe it all starts with people and that financials actually become the lagging indicator of success.